All right, so I'm getting ready to go on a overnighter in the superstitions. I'm going to try and cover about 34 miles. And I thought I would make a video of uh, the gear I'm going to take. Uh, I'll probably do another video for food and the actual clothing I'm going to do. I might also do a video on some of the pieces in here, like my emergency survival kit and my uh, first aid kit. So I'll just start stepping through all the items. Uh, first off, we have the pack I'm going to take. It's the Go Light Jam 35. Then going over to my uh, sleep system, I'm just bringing a footprint. I'm trying to go really light since I'm covering so much distance. So just bring the footprint as my shelter unless uh, weather conditions change. Uh, I got my um, Thermarest compressible pillow. That's kind of a luxury item that I like to bring got my Thermarest Pro Light full length. Again, I like going with the full length, a little bit of a luxury item there for my uh, sleeping bag. Again, I got another Go Light item. It's my um, their one season 45 degree down bag. So now some of the other gear. Something I always bring is this cut off uh, like water jug. Uh, for the desert, that's always great because you'll come to springs that are just dripping so you can put this underneath there and collect water and it weighs almost nothing and I like to put it on the bottom of my pack because usually I can fit like my sleeping bag in there and it protects it a, it a little bit. Here we have my uh, emergency survival kit I guess. Um, I'll go more into that later. I'll do another video going into all those items. It's a waterproof, shock resistant uh, box. Always bring that with me whenever I day hike or backpack. Uh, got my first aid kit. Again, I could do another video going and all that. Got my ace bandage, always bring just in case I sprain something. Uh, we'll move over to kind of toilet tree items. Got my shovel. You dig it. Nice uh, stainless steel. I've used that a lot. My toiletry kit has stuff like soap, aspirin, TP, uh, lip balm, sunscreen, and uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, go up more to my water gear. So we have my uh, two liter military surplus bladder. That's great. I like how compact it is. My, I think it's a 16 ounce, uh, 14 ounce. It looks like it's about 16 ounce. Uh, if you go all the way to the top of it, analogy that I use for mixing drinks and for measuring. Got my MSR uh, Mini Works water filter pump. I like using the pump. Uh, gets rid of a lot of silty junk in the water in the desert, and uh, it'll filter out some contaminants that you won't get with like Aquamira or um, the tablets um, for like pesticides or other contaminants in the water. Um, got my cook kit, MSR Titan Titanium Pot, got my Titanium Spork, if I open this guy up, got a bandana that I use for multiple items, matches. mini Bic lighter, a fancy fee stove, my uh, alcohol stove, oh, I didn't get the fuel out but I have a little bottle for that, a little windscreen I made just out of tin foil, and that's all that's in that and it goes in the little orange ditty sack that you can see underneath it, all these guys back real quick, it's nice putting the bandana in there because it keeps stuff from rattling all over the place. Camelback, 100 ounce camelback that I'll put in my um, backpack. I'll go down. So you have some other items that go in my pack. Uh, some new I'm going to try this new headlamp my wife got me for Christmas. It's a Snow Peak. It's a pretty cool got piece. It's a little thermometer, altimeter, barometer guy I got. Uh, batteries. 
I like to wrap a little duct tape around them to hold them all together. Got some triple A's, two double A's, and a little thing of duct tape that I wrap just around a piece of cardboard. Uh, not my camera, which I'm using right now, but that's the case for it. Got some cordage, some 550 cord, the power bar that I usually have, my Mora knife that I always have on me. The final piece of gear I'm going to go through is some of my navigation items. So I have a GPS, a Garmin E-Trex 20. Got it loaded with topographic maps that I got for free because uh, for Arizona there's some people I guess um, uh, put all the maps together and um, made them free to download. Uh, my new spot that I need to activate and subscribe to. Well, I've got that for me because I go out by myself a lot and that's the way I can be safe and uh, go to more remote places. My map. always still carry a map on me. A uh, map and, of course, compass because compass doesn't run out of batteries. <laughs> uh, this is a kind of a cool compass. It's a, the Kamenga U.S. Army issue. Um, was it tritium uh, lensatic compass? So it's it's bomb proof. Water. It's um, pretty waterproof and it has the glowing sights on it that don't need to be charged. So uh, that's a new piece of my gear that I got and uh, I really enjoy it. But let me go back out. My cat Duke. So that's all my gear and. Uh, I'll probably go into some of the pieces like the survival kit, first aid kit, and uh, I'll make a video probably for the clothes I'm going to wear, and then also a video for the food I'm going to bring. Alright, thanks everybody.